So hello everyone, today we'll be solving this differential equation and this question might seem a bit uh, arduous, a bit difficult, you know, it's very lengthy, it's got exponential and things like that, but then trust me, this is very simple and maybe probably the most simplest question, you know, the most simple one that I've done related to linear differential equation. So first of all, our aim should be to make the coefficient of dy over dx as 1. So for that, we will divide both the sides by x plus 1 so that way what we will have is dy over dx plus 2y over x sorry what happened to the x over here x oh god once again x plus 1 yes better is equal to e to the power x by x plus 1 whole square. So now let's see if we can take this as the standard form. The coefficient of dy over dx is 1. That's a good thing. Over here we have term with y and x. That's a good thing. And then over here we have terms containing only x. So that's perfect. It is in, fa in fact uh, the standard form. So now let's try and get the integrating factor. So before that let's find the integration of p dx and I hope you know by now that p is the term containing x over here something not containing y so that would be 2 over x plus 1 dx so is equal to let's see if you understand this or not i hope you don't have any problem so what i did is initially what you will get is this but then you know the property of logarithm, so whatever is the coefficient of log, you can write it as power. And then this just gets removed. Yes, yeah, so that's what I've done here. So integrating factor is e to the power, the integration of p. So that would be this. And you know that whenever we have e to the power log, then those two cancel each other out. It's nothing very difficult and we get this. So this is in fact the integrating factor. So after this let's move to the next page and multiply the standard form with the integrating factor. So what we would have is beginning of a new step x plus 1 whole square. Yeah, that was the integrating factor. This is a curly bracket even though it looks very funny dy over dx uh, plus 2y over x plus 1 uh, yeah I think so uh, is equal to e to the power x now you by now should know that this x plus 1 whole square cancels the x plus 1 whole square that multiplies on the right hand side so we get e to the power x so now uh, I'm going to write one step. Those of you who have been watching my video know how this step came. And those of you who don't know, I'll just explain it to you. Uh, yeah, is equal to e to the power x times dx. So if you, uh, you know, if you send this dx to this side, it will divide. It will something like this. You can see something like this. And then if you kind of find the derivative of this term using the product rule of derivative, then you will get exactly what is here. Exactly like that. So uh, you, if, you do, if you don't believe it, you can try it out. But then that's kind of a shortcut that I used. It's uh, I, Once you start doing these questions over and over again, you'll realize it and you don't have to really show the steps. So now let's send the dx to the other side as well and now let's just integrate both the sides so you know that uh, derivative and integration are just opposite in their action so what we can do right now is simply cancel them so wait wait a minute this y is not necessary something like this yes uh, integration and derivative they cancel each other out so what we get is y x plus 1 whole square is equal to e to the power x plus c. So this is the final answer. You can, if you want, you can bring e to the power x to this side and things like that. But then no, you don't have to do it. So there you go. This is the final answer. It seemed very difficult, but then just took around one and a half page. So yeah, this is how you do it. I don't think there is much problem over here so i hope you learned how to do this and hope to see you in my next videos thank you